Here are some of the craziest smuggling attempts ever. Number nine. Nope, not a tiger. When you're trying to smuggle something through customs, you try something a little better than just trying to put it in your carry-on bag and take it through security, right? Well, one lady certainly didn't think things through. An actual live tiger cub was found hidden among stuffed tiger toys in a carry-on bag at one of Bangkok's airports back in 2010. How are they making stuffed tiger cubs that, that realistic now? Anyways, the Thai lady identified as a Piawan Palasanar was, was trying to hop on a flight to Iran when she had trouble getting her bag through security. Airport staff had suspected something was up when they scanned the bag and x-ray images showed an item resembling a real cat. Interestingly enough, of course, she denied the luggage belonged to her. She claimed that another passenger had asked her to carry it on for them. You know, the exact thing every single airport warns about? The cub theoretically could have fetched a few thousand dollars in Iran where it's popular to have exotic pets. However, they didn't know what the woman actually was trying to do with the tiger, but hey, come on, she had no clue it was in there? Okay, I hope you guys didn't fall for that one. Number 8. The Crocodile Smuggler Just when you think snakes on a plane couldn't get any worse, think again. Back in August 2010, a passenger on a regional airline in Congo attempted to smuggle not snakes, but a crocodile from the capital city of Kinshasa to Bendundu. Just why? The crocodile actually escaped from hiding only minutes before the plane was about to land at Bendundu Airport. Problem was, a cabin crew member ran towards the cockpit because she saw the crocodile causing panic among the passengers on board. In the ensuing chaos, passengers began running towards the front of the plane, toppling it off balance. The pilots tried their best to get it under control, but the plane ended up crashing into a house. A silver lining is that the people living in the house were not in it at the time. Apparently, the crocodile was carried in a duffel bag as part of carry-on baggage. As you'd expect, the crocodile smuggler wanted to sell the animal in Congo. We have no problem with dudes wanting to make some money selling things, but come on, use a little common sense. Amazingly enough, the crocodile actually survived the crash. We can all agree that if we want to sell a crocodile, let's not fly with the crocodile we're trying to sell, right? Number 7. Coloring Pills Pain medicines work great. Problem is, sometimes they work too well, and many people keep using it long after they're healed. And that's why there's a market for pain medicines when people's prescriptions run out. Back in 2011, New Jersey cops busted inmates who used children's coloring books to smuggle in pain medicine undetected. Seriously, prison brings out people's ingenuity, right? People in prison think of the most ridiculous schemes. Officers at the Cape May County Correctional Center in New Jersey discovered that pages of coloring books sent through inmate mail were smeared with paint containing suboxone, a prescription medicine. The illegal medicine has been dissolved into a paste and then painted onto pictures that depicted Disney characters such as Snow White and Cinderella. Apparently, the only reason that correctional officers knew to look for this was because this wasn't their first rodeo as other prisoners had already used this tactic. Officers came to know how the original people did it was because they were tipped off by, of course, an anonymous prisoner. Number six, six shy of 100. When someone's trying to smuggle something somewhere, typically hiding it in a suitcase would seem like at least an okay idea, or maybe even swallowing something and having it come out the other side, although we know that doesn't always work. However, strapping 94 iPhones to your body I think most people can easily figure out that that just won't work. Chinese customs officials back in 2015 busted a Hong Kong man trying to sneak 94 iPhones into mainland China by strapping all the phones to his body. I mean, come on. Don't most people know that stepping through a metal detector is the minimum these days? The man caught attention of custom agents when he walked like someone carrying something heavy, except he was just carrying two shopping bags. After finding nothing suspicious in his two plastic shopping bags, officials asked the man to pass through a metal detector, and of course, the alarm went off. The man's record revealed numerous previous run-ins with custom regulations, and he was detained iPhones were super popular in mainland China back in 2015, and they still are today. Apple phones are more expensive in mainland China than in Hong Kong because of higher import taxes. The price difference has created a big black market supplied by smugglers. And that's why there are guys who are willing to smuggle 94 iPhones by strapping them on his body. Number 5. Wanna save 15%? 
In 2010, a German reptile collector, Hans Kurt Kubis, 58 at the time, was trying to hop on a flight from New Zealand. However, there was just a little problem. Officials discovered a whole bunch of rare lizards hidden in his underwear. Not sure who got the worst end of the deal, the guy or the lizards. He was arrested and had to pay 5,000 New Zealand dollars in fines for plundering New Zealand's wild gecko and skink populations. Custom officials found 44 lizards in this dude's underwear. Apparently, Hans admitted to being a dealer of endangered animals and pled guilty in court to charges of trading exploited species and hunting protected wildlife. So how did this guy manage to have a menagerie of lizards? He had altered his underwear with eight hand-sewn compartments in order to carry the geckos and skinks around. One last lizard, the luckiest of them all probably, depending on the way you look at things, was later found hidden in the man's suitcase. According to the prosecutor working on the case, each gecko has a street value of approximately $1,500 in Europe, while the value of the skinks was unknown. Number four, don't blow on the cartridge. Next time you're about to fire up a Nintendo game, maybe you'll want to double check what's inside. Back in 2017, custom officials in Mexico stumbled across more than 70 live spiders hidden inside 10 bootleg Nintendo game cartridges. They were headed to an address close to Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, if Weebay had a thing for fish on the wire, there has to be some Baltimore residents who are into exotic spiders, right? The package containing the spiders was intercepted in Guadalajara International Airport when officials took a closer look inside. They found 73 spiders inside plastic tubes concealed within the game cartridges. Custom officers carefully opened each one of the cartridges to reveal separate tubes in each cartridge. Each of the tubes contained a single exotic spider. But really though, why Nintendo games? We're not experts on x-rays or scanners here, but it just seems like there are better options to hide live exotic spiders in than old plastic Nintendo cartridges. Number three, just me, myself, and I. Smuggling animals is one of the most common cases of smuggling that's caught by custom officers. A great example is a Norwegian man who was caught trying to bring a whole bunch of animals into Norway. He was stopped when he was getting off a ferry from Denmark. When the officers performed a routine check and found a tarantula in his bag, they went, hey, wait a minute, let's do a body check. And guess what they found? They found 14 stockings, each containing a python taped to this ridiculously crazy dude's upper body. Obviously, they were the non-venomous kind because I can only imagine how many times he might have been close to being bitten. However, it doesn't end there. Further inspection led the custom officers to find 10 cans of tape to this dude's legs that contained albino geckos. The customs officers realized something was wrong when it seemed that the guy's body was constantly jiggling. Ugh. Can you imagine the feeling of 14 pythons moving against your body? Number two, Weekend at Bernie's. Remember the movie Weekend at Bernie's, where rich guy Bernie was carried around just so two dudes can keep a weekend party going? Well, this is pretty much the sequel. On a flight bound to Berlin, Jida Jarant and her daughter Anka Anusik tried to fly Kurt Jarant from Liverpool to Germany. The only problem was this guy didn't exactly walk on his own. In order to evade the costly and lengthy procedure for repatriating the body, the mother-daughter duo decided to fool everyone simply by placing Kurt Gerant in a wheelchair with sunglasses over his eyes. Their award-winning story goes something like, quote, we thought he was asleep. When they requested help from an airport worker to lift the wheelchair out of the taxi, he became suspicious and informed security. The officials at the airport confirmed that Kurt Gerant had in fact passed. Trying to cover up their tracks, the mother-daughter duo insisted that Kurt had been alive when they brought him to the airport. This wasn't true, according to the worker, because he testified saying that while moving the wheelchair out of the taxi, Kurt's face fell on him and that it was ice cold. Obviously, the mother-daughter combo were arrested, but ultimately, charges were eventually dropped somehow. Number one, who actually likes Pepsi? If you had to throw a party in Saudi Arabia, but alcohol isn't sold or allowed in the country, how would you get alcohol for the party? Get a ton of those fake shampoo bottles and ship some liquor over from a country that sells it? Make your own in the backyard? Well, the smugglers in this case were obviously hoping to be showered with some newbie luck because they attempted to smuggle not one or two cartons, but 48,000 cans of Heineken beer under the pretense of shipping Pepsi to Saudi Arabia. There are several places in the world where alcohol production and consumption is strictly banned, and one such place is Saudi Arabia. The smugglers in this case were either complete rookies or were just asking to be caught. 
If they had been actually trying to get away with it, they would have come up with something better. The truck carrying the alcohol shipment was labeled soft drinks. It was stopped during routine procedures, and it led the officers into discovering that was actually underneath the surface of the supposed Pepsis. We're sure a few Heineken drinkers in Saudi Arabia were definitely a bit disappointed. Here's what's next. 